Shalom, shalom. It's Brother Atazadar, Kiro Israel. I'd like to start off by giving honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakwadash, double honors to the and apostles of Great Millstone. Now, uh, this lesson I'm going to do on is uh, concerning the um, the afflictions of the righteous, right? And the charge that we have in this ministry and diverse doctrines. Give no honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakwadash. Let's get right into it. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 30, and uh, verse 10. Right, Jeremiah 30 and 10. Right, because you're going to have, like Hamashi Yahweh I said, right? Um, the, uh, if they call the, the, uh, um, the Lord of the household builds above the walls who call his servants that. Right? So there's a uh, certain amount of um, um, the remnant, right? They're going to they're gonna be seen, right? A certain way they're going to uh, be called uh, um, deceivers, outcasts, or, right? They're going to be seen as, as the, uh, um, the off scourge of this world, right? <clears throat> they're not going to fit in, right? They're going to be outsiders, right? Even when uh, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, right, forwards the uh, prophecies, right? You're going to see persecutions ri arising more and more, right? Especially for those that are teaching His Word and for the remnant as well. But like Yahweh Bashem El Shai said, right, He's not going to leave. He's going to punish us for our iniquities, right? Because we sinned. Uh, our forefathers have sinned, right? And, um, right? So part of this, this truth is enduring, as well as those that are teaching, right? Being steadfast, right? Feeding the flock, right? Making full proof of your ministry, like the uh, scriptures say, right? So this is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 10, right? It says, Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant. Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in rest and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Right? For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet Will I not make a full land of thee? Right? So the Lord God has determined desolations, destructions upon America, Babylon, the Great. Right? As well as amidst the whole earth. Right? Uh, through pestilence. Right? Which you see happening now. Whether man-made or not. Right? You see divisions. Right? You also, you ultimately, there's going to be, what? Insurrections. There's going to be uh, the third woe. Right, and it cometh quickly, right? You see tensions arising in Taiwan, right? Uh, the tribe of Moab, right? They they want their uh, they want their get back, right? On on the Edomites, right? And they want their uh, they want their their uh, their their former, right? Their former uh, um, members of their state back. Right, which Taiwan used to is it uh, used to be a part of China, right? The Taiwanese, right? Those are Moabites, right? But you you have all these things going on in the earth, right? Not only uh, because the whole earth is going to be affected, but you're going to have right the Israelites bearing the uh, the the burden of. Uh, of what separating from this world, right? Preaching this word, right? You have, for example, righteous sisters, right? They, right? Are, they are uh, be modest, right? In their conversation, as well as in their in their appearance, which is good. But those that don't understand, that are not in this truth, right? They they look at it as right, and they as a. Uh, 
strange, right? They mock at it, right? Just like the Lord God spoke about, right? The uh, the apostles, right? Being um, being being, right? He said, like like the scriptures say, right? Except for the apostles last, right? As it were unto death, right? So, this is the mindset you got to have in these latter days, right? Is that you have to understand the Lord God is correcting you, right? When you are going through uh, certain afflictions, right? You have to, right, trust in uh, the Lord God, right? How about Shai, right? Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, thy, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bond up. Thou hast no healing uh, medicines. Right? Jeremiah 30 and 12. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They that seek thee not, they seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thy iniquities, because thy sins were increased. Right, so the righteous, right, they're going to be, um, look down upon, right, because they're separating, right, from this world, right, you're going to have two-thirds of our people, right, they're going to, right, like scriptures say, those that consent unto them, they shall be had in derision, right, and at the end of the day, right, that covenant with death is going to be disannulled, like it says in uh, Isaiah, what is it, chapter 28, right, so our people are sold out, right, they, they trust in Egypt, but it's going to be like like one who leans upon that staff. It's going to pierce him right through. Right? Um, right? Why? Because, right, the multitude of iniquities, right, they refuse to return back to the Lord God of Israel. Right? So the Lord God is going to make, like like it says in um, verse 11, right? Um make it a full end of the nations, right? Not completely, but you're gonna have many slain in Armageddon, World War Three. Right? Two thirds of our people, they're 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 gonna take the karagma and they're gonna be destroyed. Right? And um Jeremiah thirty and fifteen, why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I've done these things unto thee, right? So two thirds of our people, right? They're not going to repent, right? They're going to continue to add sin upon sin, right? And we're already going through the curses at it as it is, but you know the Lord God, right? Um, he's going to turn, he's going to turn up, right? The persecution, right? And even two thirds of our people, right? That covenant with, right? Because he saw, he he want he wants to destroy all Israel, right? Whether whether you take his karagma or not, he's got plans, right? For for, uh, or even even so as as we speak, right? He, he's he's laying it down upon two thirds of our people, right? Those that are in the truth as well, those that are not. Of course they're going through things as well right because we're still under the curses but it says um right jeremiah 30 and 15 i cry as thou for thy affliction thy sorrow was incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity because thy sins were increased i have done these things unto thee Right? So, how about Shemel Shah is going to leave a remnant, right? We're not going to be altogether unpunished, right? So, you're going to have a remnant going through things, right? And two thirds of our people as well, right? Be had in derision, right? They're going to, uh, right? D 
do whatever it takes, right, uh, uh, to increase their sins, right, in order to forward their, their own belly in this, in this, uh, in this current world we're in, right, which is Esau's dominion, right, um, Jeremiah 30 and 16, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. They that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee, why give her a prey. Right? So, right, no matter what, at the end of the day, look, two thirds of our people, they gotta be they gotta be judged, right? The other nations, they gotta they're gonna go into captivity, right? Which is gonna be a those that survive Armageddon. Right? From there, this is why in the book of Revelation it says we're gonna have a thousand years. Right to bring in, right to fully establish the kingdom of heaven, right? Because we're gonna have to breed these other nations and, and uh, replenish the replenish them back on the earth, right? Because the majority that are gonna that are gonna be survive, right? They're gonna be the super elites, those that are in the bunkers, that are not in Armageddon and uh, America, Babylon, great, right? So it's about to get serious, right? Because you're gonna have Right, you're gonna have right troops. You're gonna have houses invading one another. Right, you're gonna have a lot of people are gonna are gonna get jacked up. Right, and and right, the remnant. Right, we're already you know kind of jacked up, but you know we we got a we got a we got a job to do. Right, which is uh uh to preach this word. Right, feed the flock. Right. Um, Jeremiah 30 and 17 For I will restore health unto thee And I will heal thee of thy wounds saith the Lord Because they called thee an outcast saying This is Zion whom, man's, whom no man seeketh after Right So Whatever we're going through right you Gotta deal with it at the current time Right Because that's part of the, the afflictions of the just Right Especially those that are uh, preaching his word Right we gotta uh, uh, right keep keep pushing the lessons out right. Uh, make exhortation videos right to increase the faith of of the followers right those that are following right this doctrine right which is there's only one doctrine right it's all of you how about Shemel Shai right thus saith the Holy Bible right um, for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds saith the Lord. Because they call the an outcast saying, this is Zion, whom no, no man seeketh after, right? So just like you had in the ancient Roman Empire, you had over-righteous men, right? Which is why you have the parable of the uh, uh, the Pharisee and the publican, right? The Pharisee, right? He justified himself. He despised others, right? But the publican was of a contrite heart, right? So he's ultimately the one that was justified, Right, like I bring up time and time again, right? The Yahweh Bashamel Shai is looking for the one sheep that was lost. He's not looking for 99, right, of the sheep that, that were, that were, that were, right, um, they, they, that they justify themselves, right? And you hear, uh, during, during Yahweh Shai's ministry, right, he speaks about that, uh, these type of examples several times. Right, even um, throughout the prophets, right, you have what Isaiah, so like, let me get that real quick. Um, right, so we're gonna be as the remnant, right, which is right, also called the uh, cluster of the grape, the tower of the flock, right, that little sanctuary, right, because it's not gonna be right, although you have certain camps. Right, like IUIC, you know, there's some, there's sincere brothers and sisters in all the camps, but we're gonna have we're gonna be a, a small sanctuary, right? Not that having a large camp is a bad thing, or that it, it doesn't make you the elect, but at the end of the day, right? Uh, like it says in the Book of Second Edges, right? That path is so narrow that only one person can go in at once. Meaning you're gonna have, or you may be part of a large camp, but the end of the day you got to go through these things on your own right to be built up right um, so
So Isaiah 64, Salakia might be 66. Isaiah 60, uh, we'll get Isaiah 65, right? Start at verse 65 and 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not, right? Uh, I said, behold, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name, right? Because ultimately, we all fell into a Gentile state of mind, right? And we didn't seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh He seeked us, like it says in the book of John. You have not chosen me, but I've chosen you, right? To bring fruit, right? Which is those that are that have been brought into this word, right? Those, those that can teach, right? And the Lord is dealing with the men. Like it says in the book of Ezekiel, flock of my pasture is men, right? I'm found of them that saw me not, right? Right? So we found this truth, right? We didn't seek it. It's a, it was it's all of the Lord, right? Uh, I've spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts, right? Because two-thirds of our people, right, they justify them to help themselves, right? You know, it's not about just knowing you're an Israelite, right? The Lord God is not dealing with Kendrick Lamar, right? That's what you call a, a, a reprobate, right? Um, Isaiah 65 and 3, people that have provoked me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice in the gardens, and burn incense upon altars of bricks, right? So when you're rapping about, right, Moe's, Right, the Lord God, He's you're, you're provoking the God of Israel to anger. Right, you are not of the elect. Right, Isaiah 65 and 4, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, we eat, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things, is in their vessels, which say, Stand by thyself, come not near unto me, for I am holier than thou. These are smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Right. Um, right, so holier than thou, right, um, right, two thirds of our people, right, you know, they're, they're, you know, yeah, there's nothing wrong with, with, right, right, uh, making it, right, but there's a way to do it and a way not to do it, right, the scriptures say, right, to use the world, not abuse it, right, Use the man of the unrighteousness, but at the end of the day, right, you're either going to choose money or God, right? You cannot serve two masters, right? Um, right, just like in the time of the ancient Roman Empire, right? You had the uh, the Pharisees, right? Over righteous men, right? They, they thought the law, the law, the law, that's it, right? Which, which you have today in the form of. Old Testament only Israelites, right? Which, um, those men are not learned, right? Because at the end of the day, God wish I had spoken, right? Time and time again, right? Isaiah 66 and 5. It's like, um, Isaiah 66 and 5, right? Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word, brethren that hated you cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed, right, so this is talking about the Pharisees, right, the ones that were, right, teaching the people in the ways of hypocrisy, right, talking about back then and now, because those same men are back, right, they got that same spirit on them, right, of, of hypocrisy, reprobateness, right, uh, following after, right, Fearing that the Romans will take away their, their place, right? The positions that in these days, right, comes in the form of celebrities, right? Those are those are sell out, right? Uh, and, and they are ultimately, uh, 
right? They come in the form of scoffers, mockers, right? They're gonna mock us of the servants of Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? And be still in these uh, reprobate churches, right? And the Lord God is not dealing with them as well, right? Um, let's go back to Jeremiah chapter 30, so like here. And, um, in 18, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, they shall not be small. Right? Uh, the children also uh, shall be as for time. Their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. Right? So our job right now, right, is to preach his word, right, uh, exhort our people, right, and, uh, right, though we, we, we perish day by day, right, you gotta be, right, you gotta be renewed daily, right, which, uh, part of this is, is in the form of, uh, meditating on the word, right, praying as well as watching, right, the, the, for the coming of the Son of Man, Hamashiach Gavushai. Right? Um, and their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governors shall governors shall proceed from the midst of them, and cause them to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engages heart to approach unto me, uh, saith the Lord? Right? And right, not only are the Jews black, the prophets are back as well, right? The nobles, right? Uh, the, the governor, right? Uh, right, they're all back in the, in the uh, regeneration, right, as the elect, right, now you have some of the 144,000 in the spiritual world, right, you have some of the, uh, uh, the elect, right, in the spiritual world, because the Lord God, he's going to bring them back, right, uh, at the return of Hamashiach, right, Yahweh Shai, right, like I brought up in different lesson, in a different lesson, right? When the body, when the uh, uh, the the the, uh, the elect get caught up, those who died in this truth, right? You're gonna this, and this is to glorify the Lord, because He doesn't need to do any of that. But you're gonna have the bodies rising from the graves, being caught up in the heavens, they're gonna, and they're gonna be changed, right, in the sight of all people, right? And that's all, right, to glorify, right? the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right, um, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God, behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goes forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind, right, and that whirlwind is, is already, right, it's building up, right, you got parts, like, like, like a tornado, right, you got, you got certain parts, it gets windy, and then you get, as you get closer to the middle of it, it dies down a little bit, right and then right it starts to get windy again right but ultimately it's this it's gonna build up right some people feel it right then you then you don't feel it because it, it traveled somewhere else but ultimately it's gonna get so big right there's gonna be a uh, tipping point a climax uh, per se right then all hell is gonna break loose but that whirlwind is being held back from b increasing right because you're going to have certain of these prophecies that still have to happen, right? Um, so it says it shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked, right? And ultimately what? That main, uh, the main thing is what? The karagma and then the destruction, right? Because you already have, right, these, these, these things have the, the, the chariot sightings, right? You have right, the, the, the plagues, right, whether they're man-made or not, right, it's all the Lord, right, then you're going to have what, 
Um, and you see Esau, right, uh, during his conferences, right? He, he's not telling you exactly what he's going to do, but it's already it's already out there, right, through the servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Um, so like, like the book of Daniel says, the wicked will not understand, but the wise will understand, right? Um, so when we see Esau in these conferences and he says, right, like the World Economic Forum, right, what does that mean, right? You know, Esau, you know, he's a... I give it to him, you know, he's, 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 he's wiser than Daniel, like the scriptures say, but, right, the Lord God, right, he gave, he gave him that knowledge, right, so he, so it can ultimately, uh, um, he can stop, he can, um, um, right, so it can be, right, his, 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 he's, he can stumble upon, right, his own creation, right? And you already see that in the form of the internet, right? Which was supposed to be good for him, for, for the Edomites, right? But ultimately, it has been used as a tool, right, to reveal his wickedness, right? And just like the, uh, the, the, the ICBM missiles, right? And all these, this, all this technology, this laser guided, uh, satellite, right? All these things are right. Uh, like it says in, I believe that Psalms chapter uh, sixty-four, right? The Lord God is gonna um, turn those errors back to Him, right? Because ultimately He used the sword to 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 uh, conquest, right? To uh, establish His dominion, but. They're, they're, those arrows, are, you know, he's gonna shoot those arrows, and right, and he, he's been done that, right? But they're gonna be turned back onto him, right? Which is in the form of, right, these superpowers, right? Saying enough is enough, right? It's time to uh, burn this great whore, burn the great whore up, right? Um, Jeremiah 30 and 24. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return till he have done it, and until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days, uh, you shall consider it, right? So Lord God, right, is, is angry with with his elect, right? Because we sin, our forefathers sin, right? We sin like our forefathers, right? Two-thirds of our people, they're increasing sin upon sin, right? The heathens are forwarding the affliction, right? They got to be judged, right? Esau... He has blood on his hands, right? So he has to be judged, right? All these things are going to culminate into the end being made manifest, right? Um, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, and verse 8, right? So like, um, like the scriptures say, what, right? Rest with us, right? Um... You're supposed to rest in his word. You're supposed to look forward to these things, right? The nobles returning, right? Uh, the children playing back on the streets, right? The 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 watchmen, uh, uh, sounding the trumpet, right? To go keep the high holy days, right? That's our only hope, right? Is right to to be established and brought back, right? To the former days, right? Cause all this, right? All this technology, all all this, it's all right. It's all witchcraft, right? It's all right. It's all um, enchantments, right? It has to do with enchantments. It has to do with right, keeping the mind distracted, right? When really, right, man was made to tilt the earth, right? And the creation, right? Man was made, right, uh, right to eat. Uh, uh, to increase, right? Man was given order, right? In the in the creation, right? Which is through the law, statutes, and commandments, right? It is not supposed to be like it is today, right? Uh, walking all over concrete, right? Um, right? The beast of the field, right? The the tables, right? Have been have been turned, the, the beast of the field are supposed to fear us, but 
right? Because, right, man has went off, right? From the start, right? You had to have, right, the, the beast of the field. They're not afraid of, 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 of man, right? So everything has been reversed, right? Because the, since the creation, right, men have gone off, right? Then they, they've been punished for it. Right? It's not supposed to be like this, right? It's supposed to have, right, a flourishing, right? The earth is supposed to flourish, right? It's not supposed to be covered in concrete and 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 and, and structures, you know, that that right all the resources are going into building right steel this and steel that, right? Those things are supposed to use be the, the elements are supposed to be used right um equally right in an equal manner right so yeah you you, you know you man, man does not need all these all these superficial uh um things you know like um there's, there's just a lot of a lot of nonsense a lot of junk right things we don't really need right man was was supposed to live off bread live off the earth right supposed to uh it's supposed to be right it's not supposed to be right surrounded by so many of these toxic uh plastics and 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 right these metals right they're supposed to you be used as right yeah you supposed you can have you you you're supposed to be vessels right you're supposed to store certain things as vessels you're supposed to have right an abode but it's just supposed to be right what is necessary right you'll need all this right um glass fiber and and wares and all these right all all the all the technology cameras and and, and internet right it's not supposed to be that way right so all these things are gonna be, are gonna be, right? They're gonna be done away with, right? It's gonna be, right? As man should have been, right? Which is, uh, a nat should it be, um, uh, back to a natural order, right? Um, so this is the things that we look for, right? Um, a new, a new heaven, a new earth, right? A new way, right? Which is really, it's not a new way, it's just a refreshing. That's part of the uh, new name, right? Um, Zechariah chapter 13 um, and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And will try them gold is tried and you shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God right so again right you, 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 the Lord God gave men all things from the earth right you don't need to have all this mixing of metals and woods right it's just supposed to be used for a single purpose right you have the wolves of the animals right right you can you don't need all this extra, right, uh, right, for example, right, when the temple was built, all you needed was what? Wood overlaid, right, and over overlaid with whatever, you know, metal, right, the wolves of the animals, right, and so on and so forth, right, um, so yeah, you know, um, what is it, uh, this is, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31 and, uh, verse 1, right? At the same time, saith the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Jeremiah 31 and 2, Thus saith the Lord, The people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel. 
when I went to cause him to rest, right? <clears throat> right, so at the end of the day, right, this place is compared into a uh, wilderness, right? Uh, uh, valley of the shadow of death, right? Where darkness is as light, right? Uh, right? And ultimately, this rest is not for those who had hardened right their hearts right it's for those that have right received this understanding right and and have remained right uh steadfast right and growing in this thing right jeremiah 31 and 3 the lord had appeared of old unto me saying yeah i have loved thee with an everlasting love therefore with loving kindness have i drawn thee right which is not the whole nation. It's just talking about a remnant, right? Um, that everlasting love is what that same spirit, right? That was right back in the former days, right? Is here now, right? The meek, the just, the humble, right? Right? Um, right? And, and, right? That everlasting love, right? Because it's ultimately about the elect election, right? Predestination, right? Which is uh, written in the Holy Bible, right? Which we can't even trust that we are of elect ourselves, right? This is about, right? Uh, working out your own salvation, right? Seeking the Lord God by still may be found, right? Calling upon his name, right? Deep in the law, statute, commandments, right? Believe in Masha Yahushai, right? And, right, being aware of the prophecies, right? Because you got to know what times you're in, right? Like it says in the book of Proverbs, man, um, that a man uh, discern the time and judgment, right? I believe that's Proverbs. Let me uh, get that real quick. JV. Um, the hell is this? Quah? Please they ask these eight and five, whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and the wise man's heart to discerneth both time and judgment. Right? Got no times that we're in. Right? And the time of judgment as well. Right? So we you know the spirits are gearing up. Right, you know, to uh, try to hit you with them spiritual blows, right? You have to, right? You got to kind of harden yourself, right? You know, just you know, you know, take take, you know, sometimes you got to take 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 a few of them uh, them um, uh, um, them blows, right? Got to take some of them blows, right, in the spirit, right? Stay in the spirit, right? Discerning time and judgment, right? And you can't feel the no evil thing, right? Because, like it says in the book of Sirach, right? Um, <clears throat> he who understands, right, certain things, right, will not feel the scourge of the tongue, right? And, right, it's all about not being so proud, right? You got to humble yourself sometimes, you know? So this is um <clears throat> Salaki, where was I? Jeremiah um thirty one and four again I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O Virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and shalt go forth in the dance of, the, of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria, and the planters shall plant, and shall eat them as common things. Right? These are the things that we look for, right? Back to how creation was supposed to be, right? Not with so much superfluidity, flu, superfluidness. Let's look that up real quick. Superfluidity.
probably should look up um, super fluid definition. Actually, I think I meant to say like superficial slack. Yeah. See if I can pull this preset. Superfluity of naughtiness. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Um, so James one and twenty one. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. All right. So get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives. Humbly accept the word of God that is planted in your hearts, for it has the power to save your souls. Filthiness, rampart wickedness, right? Moral filth, expression of evil, right? Let's just look up. Let's look at the Greek. So what does the Greek say, right? That's where I got that from. Superfluity, right? Speaks the filth of the flesh. But if I'm here, as we refer to seem general, not special common, that it is to the uh, whole natural man. The superabundance, the overgrowth of evil will occupy the heart. Care be not taken to root it out, like the thorns in the parable of the sower spring up. Right? Um, I choked the good seed. All such a rank poisonous crowd must be gathered and laid aside, and caps may be for some fiery trouble to consume that out of the dead luxury and weeds, a richer soil for virtue may be made, right? Um, get rid of all moral filth and every expression of evil, right? Superfluity, right? Which is Parisian, right? Let's look at the at the Greek. Yeah, so it's, it's an expression, right? It has to do with an expression, right? Strong's Greek four zero five zero, right? It says Parisia, Parisia, superfluity, abundance, superfluity. Right, superfluity of evil, right? Comprehensively all around, right? Um, out of measure, preference, preeminence, right? Residue remains, right? The wicked is remaining over in the Christian from a straight state prior to conversion. Right, which is uh, yathar, right? Yathar meaning like a a remaining of a measure, right? Or an excessiveness, right? Yath yathan. I mean, salaki. Uh, yathar. Right. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Abundance. 
Yeah, that's what it means in abundance. Right, so we're supposed to put off the the abundance of of these these uh right malignity right um badness depravity right malignity um anyways you get the point right so Jeremiah thirty one and um. 31 and 6, for there shall be a day that the watchmen upon Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go to Zion unto the Lord our God. For thus saith the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Right? So let's analyze the text. Um, Jeremiah 31 and 6. Right, see what we can um, find something here, right? For edification, right? So, lucky. Yeah. Jeremiah 31 and 6. Right, what does it say? Um, For there shall be a day that the watchmen upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. Right, Kayaya Shayawam Kwara'awa. Right, really, right. Just say, uh, Kaya, Yasha, Yawam, Kwara, right? Because it will be a day, right? Which, 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 um, which, um, um, which they would, um, which they would call, right? Because Kwara means to call out or to read, right? And calling out or to proclaim. Right. Um. Not Cesarium, right? Um. Bahar Aparium. Um. Quam, right? So it says, uh, um. Right, not Cesar, right? Which is what? To watch, to keep, right? Um, to look at, watch over, right? Um, let's go down. Right. Um so basically is it's like a keeper, right? Right, because you have the um you have Batazar, which is to bind, right? Um right, so that's what the what it means, right? Um because watchmen, right? goes into uh right something else right you have the watchers which is one that keeps watch right certain certain watches there the Hebrews have certain watches Ashamara right then you have a watchtower 
Matazapa, right? You have Mushamar, which means one that is of they has put a guard up upon someone else, like the uh, the son of the Israelitish woman, right? He was put into into uh, he was kept on watch, right? Meaning, right? He was held in, right? Until they see what should be done unto him, because he blasphemed the Lord God of Israel. Right, and then you have Natazar, right, which is a keeper, right, or to keep, right, um, Tazap, right, which is a, uh, this is what a watchman is, right, watchmen, right, that's talking about, right, I mean, a watchtower is Matazap, right. Tazap, right, to look out, to view, right, um, right, Tazap, right, um, to look out about the spy, keep watch, right? Which is where you get the word Tazapan from, right? Which means north or to a, like a covering, right? Because of the watchmen, right? That were sitting on the walls, right? They were sort of covered, right? You couldn't see who was on what watch. Because if you did, you would have the enemy be able to know where to shoot the arrows, right? So the watchmen were kind of uh, covertly, they were they were kept undercover, right? But they were still watching, right? In places unbeknownst, right? To spy, right? Which is why it's called Tazap, right? So Natazar is more like a keeper, like a keeper of the mountains, right? Whether it be a shepherd or whatever it may be, right? Which keep watch over the land as well, but you have the main watchmen that sit up on the tower, right? They have to be covertly sitting, right, waiting for every and reporting on every single thing they see, right? This is why we're called watchmen, right? Um, right? Um, you can, you can, uh. Right, that's pretty much it for that. So you get the point. Right? Um, right? Because there would be a day when, when they would call the keepers upon the Mount Ephraim, rise, and, right, not, not Elah, let us, and ascend, and, and, um, and to send up um, uh, to Zion to Yahweh our God, right? So there's gonna come the day, right, when um, right, the keepers of the, of the sheep, spin yards, right? They're gonna all gonna call. They're gonna hear the trump, right? And they're gonna say, "Let us, let us arise and go to uh, to keep the high holy day, or whatever the case may be," right? From one moon to another, from one Sabbath to another, like scriptures say. All flesh will go to worship before Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right? Jeremiah 31 and 7. For thus saith the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of nations. Publish ye, praise ye, say, O Lord, save thy people, the uh, remnant of Israel. Right, I'm not sure that that's what I was gonna look for. Right, um, Kayaka Amar Yahweh Ranawa. Right, um, because thus says Yahweh. Right, um. Right, which is uh, um, right, um, 
to cry, right? Or to, um, doesn't mean sing. It means like a, uh, a crying of joyfulness or, or, uh, right? Or of a sadness, right? To sing aloud, right? To cry aloud, right? Like a uh, shout, right? Um, for Jacob, uh, rejoice, right? Which is a uh, uh, shamach, right? Wa tazahal, right? Rejoice and, and uh, says shout. But let's look at the uh, right. Cry surely. Right, um, Cry, right? To gleam, right? To sound clear, right? Um, Tazahal, right? Um, right? Uh, As a hall, as a hall, as a hall, right? It says cry aloud, need, bellow, right? Shrilly, right? Basically, a sound of uh, uh, clearness, right? A hey, um, right. It says because thus says Yahweh, right? Um, shout for Jacob, rejoice and cry upon the uh, uh, the chief of the nations, right? Um, right, publish, right, because Shammai, meaning to hear, or also of a report, right, so they will, they will report, right, it being, meaning to publish, right, and praise and say, right, save Yahweh, Hawashai Yahweh, Atha Yimaka, to your people. To the remnant of Israel, Atha Sha'arayath Yasharala. Right? So, Rana, meaning like a, right, like a uh, shouting. Right? And, uh, shout for Jacob, rejoice. Right? And, um, right? And, uh, right, and, and shout, right, like I said, right, you can cross-reference, right, doesn't mean to rejoice, but, um, basically like a, uh, Like a bellow, right? Right, so, uh, because thou said Yahweh, right? Um, um, what is it? Uh, shout for Jacob. 
rejoice, right, and um, cry out, right, upon the mountains of the, of the uh, nations, right? Because we're not, it's like a shouting, just so you don't think I'm switching the, uh, um, right? Right, for joy, saying, rejoice, right? See shouting, right? Singing aloud, right? So yeah, there you have it, right? That's it for that, really. Um... For the Jeremiah 31 and 7, right? 8. Behold, I'll bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coast of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. Right? Jeremiah 31 and 9, they shall come with weeping and with supplications. Will I lead them? Right? Uh, will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble. For I am your father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. I right, hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare the it in the eyes far off. Salakia and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him. And keep him as, as a shepherd does his flock. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Right? Therefore they shall come and sing in the, in the height of Zion and shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord for wheat, for wine, and for oil, for the young of the flock and the herd. And the soul shall be as a watered garden. They shall not sorrow any more at all. <coughs> then shall the virgin rejoice and dance. Both young men and old together, for I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satiate the soul of the priest with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with goodness, saith the Lord. Right? So that's part of the uh, good news, right? They return them back unto their former ways. Right? Not in this. Right? Right? Um. so-called uh, modern world is full of nothing but vanity, right? And vain things, right? And all these things will come to not nothing, right? At the end of the day, right? Um, let's see what else we got right here. Let's see if I can get another preset. Actually, I think that's it for that chapter. Um, let's see if I can pull up one addition. So, okay, yeah. Um, I think that's it for that. Jeremiah 31 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears. For thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. Right? And like Elder Pastor said, right, now's not the time, right, to get emotional, right? You got to deal with logic, right? Because this is what Esau deals with. He deals with logic, right? I mean, you have to deal with logic in general, right? 
right? One plus one is two, right? One minus one is zero, right? So you gotta, you gotta, right? Put away that woe is me spirit, right? It, it is about, right? Uh, doing the work, right? And the reward of the kingdom, right? Saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy, and there is hope in thine end. Saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border, right? And our hope is is in, right, the end of this 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 wicked place, right? Which is uh, right, which is nothing but right, iniquity, right? Um. And the rest will come after that, but we're not really looking forward to that. We just want the fact that we found this truth, right? We hope others will find it as well, right? That's all, right? Um, you know, those that are sincere in this thing, right? At the end of the day, right? You're not going to glory and knowing you're an Israelite, you're not going to exalt yourself, right? You're going to be glad that you received this truth, and you're going to be diligent, right? How about Shemel Shah is not dealing with no month in, month out, right? Not show up to camp, right? Not doing the sit downs, right? You need to, right? You got to, you got to be, you can't be neither, neither cold nor hot, right? Um... Jeremiah 31 and 18. I've surely heard Ephraim be bemoaning himself thus. Thou hast chastised me, and I was chastised as a bullock unaccustomed to the yoke. Right? Turn thou from me, turn thou me, and I shall be turned. Thou art the Lord my God. Right? Surely after that I was turned, I repented, and after that I was instructed. I smote upon my thigh. I was ashamed, yet even confounded, because I dared bear the reproach of my youth. Right? And the majority of Ephraim, right, like the scriptures say, right, he's joined unto idols. Right? Now, people don't know why we're going through such things. Right? As a bullock unaccustomed to the yoke. Right? But now we're saying, look, Lord, it's in your hands. Right? Turn me and I shall... I shall be turned, right? And right, give me instruction, right? And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, right? You're gonna be, you're gonna be ashamed sometimes, right? Because, right, you were, and right before this truth, right? You were, you were in the world, right? Even confounded, right? Because you sometimes, right? I'm speaking as a man, right? I look back and I'm like, wow, you know, uh. You know, we, I don't know how I got in the truth, but, right, it's of the Lord, right? Is he from my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? For since I spake against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore, my bowels are troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him, saith the Lord, right? Set thee up way marks, make thee high heaps, set thy heart to the highway, even the way which thou wentest. Turn again, O virgin of Israel. Turn again to these cities, and that starts with his word, and it starts with, right, uh, making supplication to Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, <clears throat> Salakia, and then ultimately even in the deliverance, right? How long would thou, would thou go about, <laughs> O thou backsliding daughter, for the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall compass a man, Right? That's going into something else, really, right? That's going about, um, um, you know, an Esau in this current world, right? An Esau system, right? He exalts Eve, right, above above Jake, right? And um, right, this is where you have the, the division within the Israelite family, right? Because the Israelite man is really, right, the lowest, right, treated. Right, and that's because of the curses. That's because these other nations know who we are. 
All right, they can't exalt Jacob because they know once he is exalted, especially now that this truth is coming out, right, as a whole, right, then, right, they know that, that their time is up, done, right? Um, but anyways, that's going to something else. Jeremiah 31 and 23. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as yet they shall use the speech in the land of Judah and the cities thereof, and I shall bring again their captivity. The Lord bless thee, O habitation of justice and mountain of holiness. Right? Um, there shall dwell in Judah itself and in all the cities thereof, together husbandmen and they that go forth with flocks. For I have satiated the weary soul, and I have rep replenished every sorrowful soul. Upon this I awaked and beheld, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Right? Um, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man, with the seed of beasts, and it shall come to pass that it is like I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down, and to throw down, and to destroy, to afflict. So I watch over them. So well I watch over them to build and to plant, saith the Lord. Right? Basically, the Lord God is going to increase, right, his, his people again. Right? Um, because, right, um, uh, like it says in the book of, uh, what is it, the book of James, right? Lord God restored Job, right, uh, plentiful, right, uh, manifoldly, right, the things that he lost, right, so we count, right, these things that we lose in this world as dung, right, because this is of, right, that new city, right, that we're looking for, uh, a, 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 um, a new earth and, and new heaven, right, where dwelleth uh, righteousness, right, First Timothy chapter six and seventeen. Right? First Timothy six and seventeen. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high minded, nor trust in the certain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Right? Part of good works is what? Forward in the ministry, right? Because that's what this is about, right? The ready to distribute, willing to communicate, right? For the edifying of the body, right? Which is uh, ultimately the elect, right? Those that are sincere in this thing. Those that are growing, right? Those that, right, are laying up faith for treasure, right? Good works for that uh, against the, uh, the time to come, right? Which is Jacob's trouble, right? Uh, like scriptures say, right? Um, good works and and um, um, a sure foundation, right? Keepeth right the uh, the 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 uh, the house from being blown down, right? Which is your spiritual house, your tabernacle here on this earth, right? First Timothy six and nineteen lay up laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, right? So knowing all these things must be so. Right, knowing you're gonna you're gonna be right despised on this side, right? But you gotta lay hold of eternal life, laying a hold of the law, right? Laying a hold on prophecies, right? Knowing what to look out for, knowing the times that we're in, right? Uh oh, um, that's it for that. Second Timothy chapter two and uh verse twenty one. Second Timothy 2 and 21, if a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified in meat for the master's use, prepared unto every uh, good work. Second, um, Second Timothy 2 and 22, flee also youthful lust, but follow Righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them to call on the Lord out of your pure heart. Right? So it's not about, you know, where's your fringes at? Uh, right? 
somebody says, you know, Shalom Wam to you, right? You just stare, you just give them the death stare, right? Because they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not in the same camp, right? I've seen that, I've seen that happen before, right? When I was new into the truth, right? I, I Shalom the, uh, uh, right? Or Shalom, you know, either or, right? Um, right? Um, Shalom really means peace, right? Or pay, right? Or recompense, you know. Shalawam means more prosperity. Shalawa, right? That's where you get Shiloh from, right? Because Shiloh that means prosperity, right? Because the prosperity forwarding of the gospel that was Hamashiach Yahweh Shai spoken of, right? So really, when you say Shalom, right? It could mean peace, pay, recompense, right? Like, um, like if you say Shalom Aleikum, right, which is where, right, the, the Arabs say that as well, but they mean to say, apparently, when they say Salam, it means, like, I accept you, or, and it also means to submit, but, right, in Hebrew, right, it means, right, if you say Shalom Aleikum, you can look at it and mean, peace upon you or your recompense be upon you right which is kind of like a little double double talk right but it's all out the, whatever comes out the heart right that's all that matters right so if you say it right and you feel in your heart that you're saying it in a, in a right in a, in a rightful way in a peaceful manner right and that's all that counts right which is really, right, that's what Yahweh Shai was talking about when he said the things that come from a man, they come from the heart, right? So whether you say it, whether you, whether you say that, right, I can't speak on no, on no Arabic, you know, but I, 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 I looked into it a little bit, right? Because it, I mean, it could just, I don't know, I don't know what they, what they, what they mean. But I can I can tell you what the Hebrew means. But I know that means something to the extent of I accept you, or or it could mean to submit. So I don't know. But I, we teach the Hebrew here at Hero Israel, so you know you can look at, you can look it up yourself, right? If that intrigues you. But um um um. Or was I Second Timothy chapter two verse twenty three, right? So I seen I seen other camps, you know, you know you sh you give them the peace and they don't return the peace back, right? And that's okay, right? Because it's all about right, you know, um, right, um, it's all about what's in your what's in you know in your conscience, right? Conscience, you know, uh, condemns you. Because if you don't, if you don't return the peace back, I mean, you just proud, right? Um, 2 Timothy 2, 23, but foolish and on their questions avoid knowing that they do gender strikes, right? So it's not about, right, foolish questions, you know, I mean, it's cool if somebody asks you what tribe you're from, but then when they start saying, well, how do you know? I mean, nobody really knows at the end of the day. But as, like the scriptures say, as a man believes, so is so is he, right? What does the book of Baruch say, right? Be not ashamed of the covenants of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, right? Let's get that real quick, actually. Um... We're not ashamed of this gospel, right? We're not ashamed of who we are, right? Damn, 
actually, I think I was in um, Serac. I know it's in the, uh, here it is, Serac 42 and 1. Of these things be not be not thou ashamed and accept no person of sin thereby of the law of the most high and his covenant and of judgment to justify the ungodly right um, of reckoning with thy partners and travailers and of the gift of the heritage of thy friends right um right so we're not accepting no person right we're not ashamed right of the law of the most high his covenant right and of uh, judgment, right, to justify the ungodly, right? So we're not justifying the wicked, condemning the just. We're telling you, thus say the, 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 the precepts, right? Judgment is coming, repent, right? Uh, seek the Yahweh Bashem Shai, while still may be found, and look, the blood of, is off our hands at the end of the day, right? We're just ministers, right? We are profitable servants, right? We have a charge. That's part of this ministry. Look, get the, get it out, get the word out, and boom, right? Uh, um, you know, preach, get the word out, get the point across, get out of the way, right? Do the sit downs, right? Um, right, and right, even out of the outside of this ministry, right? You can't be, you know, um. Being a hypocrite, right? You can't, you, you know, sit there, you know, as soon as you get off camp, you light a, a Dutch master, you know, that's off, right? Right, you can't, you know, you can't be, you know, not that you don't, you don't have to have your fringes on all the time, but that if you if you choose to, then that's, that's on you. But you can't be at the, at the quick, at the, uh, uh, right? At the gas station, you know, you know, s smoking a, a black and mild with your with your sea seats. It's off. I mean, come on, man. You know, you have to uh, right consider how people see you outside of this ministry, right? That's what it means when the scriptures say, right, be not a hypocrite amongst men. It's not talking about, oh, you know. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta, you gotta, so like it. <clears throat> you gotta move, move wisely in this thing, right? Because that's what it's about, right? Um, Jeremiah, so like it, Second Timothy. Timothy 2 and uh, I think I was on 23 right through the power of spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem Kakwadash Lord when you're edified right when you get some more precepts right and uh, we can go ahead and close out Let's get that uh Second Timothy two and uh twenty-four. Right. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, and meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, a God pre eventual to give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Right? So it's not about turning Lord the Lord's word to a spectacle, right? Cussing out the so-called white man, right, having a boot kissing con contest, like, like, um, ISUPK, right, right, getting the Edomites to bow down, right, that's not what it is about, 
is about preaching the word, right? Not being, right, uh, carnal, right? Just because he looks like a so-called white man, that could be a Jake, right? You got to be mindful, right, when you're teaching his word, right? You just got to hope some receive it, and that's it, man, right? Um, 2 Timothy 2 and 26, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, were taken captive by him at his will, right? So this is what this lesson is about, right? Um, which is, which is what, uh, the afflictions of the just, right? Those that are in this truth, right? And the things we must keep as, as, as concerning the things that are required in this ministry, right? The book of James chapter four and, uh, verse four, right? James four and four. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is empty with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God, right? Right, so you use the world, not abuse it. Right, content with what you have. Whether it be much or little. Right? It's not about exalting yourself. Right? We're not looking for the for the glitz and glamour. Right? You know? Or, you know, rejoicing. Right? You know, the fact that, right, we're, we're teachers in this thing. Right? We're supposed to be like Paul. Right? Paul the Apostle, he was, right, weak in, in person he was he was weak he was lowly right but in his in his epistles right he was right he was strong he was he was right he was he was rebuking right to these various churches in the spirit right but in person he was lowly he was he was right uh weak uh sickly right so he wasn't sit there being you know a super israelite right you know, no, you know, our job is, is to get out, preach, right, uh, conduct ourselves a certain way, right, not be, not in a proud way, right, and do the sit downs, right, and watch, right, watch the events happen, right, watch as well as pray, right, you know, that's the simplicity in Hamasha and Gawashai, right, James 4 and 5, do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but give grace unto the humble. Right? So may yourselves, therefore, to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh unto God, and he will drive, draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy unto heaviness, right? But here the point was in, in verse 8, right? Purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Right? You got to put that double-mindedness away, right? Lord God is not dealing with no double-minded man, with no, uh, you know, no double, with that double talk, right? I'm telling you plain and clear, repent, right, while you still can. Right before the day of the Lord's vengeance, right, comes, which shall fall upon the heads of all the wicked, right, two thirds of our people, right, um, right, the other nations, right, so-called white man, right, because this gospel is a testimony unto all nations, right, at the end of the day, right, that's what this thing is about. Right, showing, right, uh, the heathens their judgment, right? So I can... Right, 
So that's what it is about. Right. So let's get that in on. making sure my my lentils were dry enough you know lentils are a good uh, source of um, protein right for those that uh that um right they're into that kind of stuff right This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 27, right? Let's get that, Jeremiah 31 and 27. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will sow the house of Salakia. Actually, I got that already. Um, Jeremiah 31 and 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea and the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. For those ordinances depart from me before me, saith the Lord, that in the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all they, that they have done, saith the Lord. All right? Behold, the city, the days come, saith the Lord, that the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Hananel unto the gate of the corner. The measuring line shall yet go forth over against it upon the hill Garib, and shall come past about Goath to Goath. The whole valley of the dead bodies and of the ashes and of all the fields into the brook of Kidron unto the corner of the horse gate towards the east shall be holy unto the Lord. It shall not be plucked up nor be thrown down any more forever. Right? Um, Jeremiah 32 and 17. Right? So this is part of the things, right, that we're uh, looking forward to, right? His, uh, uh, when Lord God glorifies his people, right, in the sight of all nations, right, and, and Jerusalem, right, is holiness unto the Lord, right, which will be, uh, what, the center of, 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 uh, the universe, right, at the end of the day, right, um, Jeremiah, 32 and 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretched thy arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Thou shewest loving kindness unto thousands, and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers to the bosom of the children after them. The great, the mighty power, the Lord of hosts is his name. Great in counsel, and mighty in work, for thine eyes are upon all the ways of the sons of man. To give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, which has set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even unto this day, and in Israel, and amongst other men, has made thee a name as at this day. Right? Um Jeremiah thirty two and 21 and has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with stretched out arm and with great terror and has given them this land which thou didst swear to the fathers to give them the land flowing with milk and honey right um uh,
they came in and possessed it, but they obeyed not thy voice, neither walked in thy law. They have done nothing of all that thou hast commanded them to do. Therefore thou hast, thou hast caused all this evil to come upon them. Right? And that's pretty sharp of a, of a rebuke from the Lord. Right? So he's done nothing of all that thou hast commanded them to do. Right? So we went off big time. Right? Um... Jeremiah, right? So what does it say in Jeremiah 31 and 35? Right? This this is what this is part of the ministry, right? Putting our people to remembrance, like Peter the Apostle said. Right? Because Jeremiah 31 and 35 and on down says if the ordinances of the stars and the sun were to depart, right? Right then, um, if, if, if the seas can be measured, right? Jeremiah thirty-one and thirty-seven. The Lord said He will cast off all the seed of Israel for all they have done. Right, but this is about the sure mercies of David. Right, David went off. Right, David. David had a man killed. Da David had, right, committed adultery. Right, with another, with another man's wife. Right, well really, right, he had him killed by the enemy, which really wasn't, right, his fault, but he was still wrong, right, and she, the, the, the woman died, I mean, the woman's husband died, was it uh, Beersheba, so, so technically she was a widow, but he was still forgiven for that, right? You all, but but the Lord God, right, judged him for that for that as well, right? He he killed his his son, right? He killed his seed, right? So he, the Lord God has got a balance, right? He's not justify, right? The, it, it, when when a man goes off, right? Um, Jeremiah thirty two and twenty six, right? Just so you can see, right? We we went off big time. Right? And we're still going off. Two thirds of our people will not return. Right? Until you they see that. Right? The chariots, the missiles coming down. Ah. You know? And the Lord's gonna say they're gonna knock, right? And they're gonna call on the name of the Lord. They're gonna say we have we right. He taught in our streets, right? He's gonna say, I never knew you. Right? They're going to see the missiles and, and the chariots. Right? The elect getting beamed up. And, and that's it, man. Right? Because they, they, they refuse. Right? They harden their necks. Right? They scoff. They mock his servants. Right? Jeremiah 32 and 26. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Right? So nothing is too hard for, for the Lord. Right? All things are possible with God. Right? Things that are impossible, that, that are impossible with men are possible with God. Right? So we have to trust, right? Cleave unto, unto the Lord. Right? Um, Jeremiah 32 and um, what is it, 26? Jeremiah 32 and 37. All right, what does that say? Behold, I will gather them um, out of all the countries where I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and great wrath, and I'll bring them again into this place. And I will cause them to dwell safely, right? So we're feeling the Lord's anger, his fury, his great wrath. Right, which is coming in the form of Jacob's trouble as well. Right? Then after that, right, those who get delivered will get delivered, right? 
those who get put to death, right, which is some of us will die for this truth, right, to magnify the Lord, and, um, right, but two-thirds of our people, right, they're going to be, right, they got to, they got to, they got to come back on the other side, right, they're going to be the children of the elect, right, and that's another video, that's a video right there, right, the children of the elect, right, those same, those wicked Israelites you see, right? They're gonna, they're gonna, we're gonna look at them. They're gonna come back as babies, right? They're gonna be yay tall. We're gonna, we're gonna, sh we're gonna show them, right? They're gonna, they're gonna grow up, right, with the law, right? Of course, they're gonna be perfect, right? But as a, right, they're gonna be introduced. Right, they're gonna right because we're gonna teach the other nations, right? So they're gonna have right. They're, they're gonna have the law, and they're in what parts? But they're gonna they're gonna be it's gonna be given onto them, right? They're gonna teach the nations, right? So it's gonna be presented, right? We probably in part we know in part, right? But they're gonna be the children of the elect. Right, we're gonna give them right. We're gonna pat their little heads, and, and it's okay. Don't worry about it. Right, um, Jeremiah thirty-two and thirty-eight. They shall be my people, and I'll be their God. I'll give them one heart, one way, that they may fear me forever. For the Lord God, for the good of them and of the children after them. Right? I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and I will not turn away from them to, to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts, and they shall not depart from me. Right? Because ultimately, the remnant, the elect, right, they're going to have one heart, one way. Right? So you got to call on the Lord's name. You have to know the karagma what the karagma is about right you have to know that destruction is coming because that's one way it's one doctrine Apostle Paul said Hamashiach Yahusha is not divided right was Paul crucified for you right because one said you know we are of Apollos one says I am of Paul right I was baptized with the baptism of John right Hamashiach is not divided right the Lord gave one way, right? He's going to give his people one heart, right? To fear him, right? He's going to put his fear in our hearts at the end of the day, right? So, they, so, they, so the remnant are going to be like, oh shit, right? As soon as they hear this, they're going to be like, well, you know, man, it's time, right? Um... Jeremiah 30, 33 and 2. Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it, to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and I will shew thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Right? So those that, right, right, when the Lord sups, right, calls, it, calls his people back, right, he's going to sup with them. Right, we're gonna call unto him, right? In prayer and supplication, right? Seeking his word, right? He's gonna he's showing us mighty things, right? We didn't know, right, that we were God's chosen people, right? We didn't know about the great promises stored up for us, right? Although, right, we do not see him, right, uh, um, right in front of us, right? Physically, right, we do see them afar off, right? And who would have known, right? And me, I, I, I uh, I'm speaking as a man, right? You know, I say to myself every here and there, right? Who would have known, right? That I, that I was, right? That that was my purpose, right? So. You know, it's just amazing, right? 
you know, because, right, we always wondered, right, you know, what, what, what is, what is, what is living about, right, what is the root, what is the true purpose, right, some of us, right, through the mercies of Yahweh Shemiel Shai, right, because the Lord is, is, the Lord is of, uh, of, of uh, his mercy endureth forever, right, so this is, right, you know, um, it's, it's amazing, right, when you think about it, right, because not everyone is going to receive, right, this understanding, right, so it's about receiving with meekness the engrafted word, right, like it says in the book of James, right, which is able to save your souls, right, we believe into the saving of the soul, right, all these things in the flesh, right? They're just, they're just, right? All that is gonna is gonna pass away, right? But the spirit, right, endureth forever, right? Because ultimately, uh, the Lord is dealing with the spirit, right? Um, Jeremiah thirty, uh, what is it, thirty-three? Matthew thirteen and ten, right? This book of Matthew thirteen and ten. Um, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Right? But unto them it is not given. Right? For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Right? Kendrick Lamar. Right? What you have. Right? The Lord took it away from you. Right? Now you're speaking on, right, Mo's. Uh, and, you know, you, you, got, you got weapons in your, in, your, in your album cover. Right? Mocking the Lord's crucifixion, right? You don't that you that crown doesn't belong to you, right? That belongs to uh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? Whether whether you, right? There's no excuse, right? That crown was for you to get your shit together, right? Not for you to be deep and try to, you know, that's off. Right? Matthew 13 and 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hear and they hear not, neither they do they understand. And in them is filled the, the, fulfilled the prophecy of his Isaiah, which saith, By hearing you shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross. Their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Right? Are blessed, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them, right? So many prophets, righteous men, right, desire to see these things, right? But now we see them, right? Although, right, we're not, we have not attained unto it, right? Like a father Abraham, he saw the promises and he, right, but he didn't attain unto it. But he believed and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, right? But, but believing is part of the, the uh, is the first step. Right, come in unto the works is the other half. Right now, we're saved by faith, but does that mean right? Uh, we we justify ourselves? No. Right, the point is that we believe on in, in, in faith. Right, and then Abraham believed, and what what came after that? He showed his works. Right, he almost offered offered up his only begotten son. Right, Isaac, his heir. Right, and and then he was given what the circumcision. 
right? The covenant, right? The promises, right? Which were to be fulfilled in his seed, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? So he committed his works unto Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? And so it's it's just more than just believing, right? It's about doing as well, right? So again, you know that's that's part of that's part of the uh, this thing, right? You don't just you don't just hear right the word and then right you you sit idle and and right you don't right because part of the part of it is obedience right obedience has to do with hearing as well as doing right like uh Masha Gawashai said right he said right um the woman uh, came up to him and said, Blessed are the paps which thou hast sucked. Right? But he said unto her, Blessed, nay, but blessed are those that hear the word of God and do it. Right? So hearing is, is part of the first step. Right? The second step is, is attaining, right, unto, uh, uh, to the said measure. Right? Um, is uh, Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 6 right so what does what does it say behold I will bring it health and cure and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth right so though right we are not right necessarily right in peace right because right the scriptures say there's a time for peace a time for war a time for hugging a time for refraining a time for building up a time to root down right but the peace is the peace of mind and knowing that your enemy will fall right that you have right uh um these great promises right and the abundance of truth, right? Because at, in these latter days, right, you have a uh, part of the forwarding of this ministry is through via the internet, right? And also word of mouth, because, right, when it's one person hears something, right, they're going to add on to it, right? Which is why you have, right, the Akia making these various videos, right? Like it says in Malachi chapter 4, right, Book of Remembrance, right? Uh, in the book of Jeremiah, right, speaks about one post run into another, right, because, uh, what does it say in the wise, uh, sayings of Syrac, right, it says that a wise man would add on to, on to some, uh, uh, wisdom when it is spoken, right, and he would add on to it, I believe that's Syrac, I may be mistaken, um, Jeremiah 33 and 7 and I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as the first and I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me and I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me Jeremiah 33 and 9 and it shall be unto me a name of joy a praise and honor before all the nations of the earth which shall hear the good that I do unto them and they shall fear and trouble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it right so at the end of the day Right, like it says in the book of Isaiah, right, the law will come forth out of Jerusalem, right, which was a uh, people before it was a place, right. They're gonna hear, right, the report of of uh, his elect being delivered, right. They're gonna see, right, the destruction of America, Babylon, the Great. They're gonna see, right, all hell breaking loose, 
uh, the third woe, right? And then what's going to happen, right? They're going to fear. They're going to tremble, right, for all these things that the Lord will do magnify his people, right? But you're going to have death being swallowed up. You're going to have, right, the law, statute, commandments put in the, in the inward parts, right? All the prosperity that's going to come to pass after that, right? A lot of heathens not going to see it in this time, but, right, you're going to see part of it. And then, right, um, in the kingdom of heaven, right, you're going to see, you're going to see, right, these things happen, right? Because you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be eyewitness to those things, right? Why? Because you're going to be in captivity, right? In Jeremiah 33 and 10, thus saith the Lord, again, this shall be heard in this place, which he says shall be desolate without man and without beast. Even in the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem, that are desolate without man, without inhabitant, and without beasts. Salakia. The voice of joy, the voice of gladness, the voice of the pride groom, the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Hallelujah. For the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, for I will cause the return, the captivity of the land is at the first, saith the Lord. Uh, Jeremiah 33 and 12, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Again in this place, which is desolate, without man, and without beast, and in all the cities thereof shall be a habitation of shepherds, causing their flocks to lie down. Right, um, in the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the vale, in the cities of the south, and in the land of Benjamin, and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, shall the flocks pass, pass again under the hands of him that telleth him, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform the good thing which I promised unto the house of Israel. And unto the house of Judah, right? Um, so let's analyze uh, Jeremiah 33 and 13. See if we can um, find something here. 33. Jeremiah 33 and 13. Jeremiah 33 and 13 In the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the vale, in the cities of the south, in the land of Benjamin, in the places about Jerusalem, in the cities of Judah, shall the flocks pass again under the hands of him that telleth him, saith the Lord. Right? Um, what was I going to get? Right, so the uh, Hebrew says, Ba'iriah Ha'har, Ba'iriah Ha'shapal, Ha'shapala, Ba'iriah, right, in the cities of the mountain, in the cities um, of, of the vale, right. Which is uh, a veil is like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, it? Says low region, lowland, right? You read about that in the uh, um, book of Numbers, I think. Might be mistaken. Hold on. Actually, 
just means like a low land, right? To bring low, right? Actually, Shapala, I was like a place. Yeah, that was more like a place. Right? More or less, right? Um. Translated as plains or veil. Actually, let's see if we can get that in um, numbers. It might be 24. I made a mistake and bear with me. So it basically means um like a lowland, lowland, right? So like I don't know why I keep clicking on that. Um, yeah, that's what it means, a lowland, right? Because you have a valley, right? Um, right. Which is uh, a Rabah, right? You have a lowland Chapal, Chapala, Chapala, right? Um, where is it? Um, right? So it says, Ba'iraya Hahar, Ba'iraya Hashapala, right? In the city of the mountain, in the city of the lowland, in the city of the south, right? By Uriah Hanagab. Um, Guapa Arataza, right? Benjamin, right? And in the land of Benjamin, right? So Benjamin isn't always said Banyamium, right? It's also right written as Benjamin, right? So it doesn't always have to be right Banyamium. Or Benyamium. Banyamium. Right, because that was right, that was how, how you would say his name, right? But ben Benjamin, right, is also equally right, gets, gets the name across, right? Really, it's um, Ben Banyamayam. Right, technically, or Ben Awanaya, right, son of my affliction. But that's for another lesson. Um, Benjamin, 
right? Wa pasa pasa bay baya baya, right? Um, which is roundabout, right? And roundabout Jerusalem, right? Wa baya right? And the city of Judah. Ba'iraya um, Yahawada Id Ta'ibarana Right, even um, Even they will pass over Right Ha Tazaan Tazan Ha Tazan Right, even the flocks Upon the hands of, uh, um, of um, mana, right? Meaning of, of him that divides them, right? That's what mana means. Mawana, but it's really mana, right? The wa, certain times in the Masoretic text, right? It's really inserted, right? To distinguish the words that are being mentioned, right? So mana meaning to divide says Yahweh, right? It's lucky I clicked on the wrong thing. Um Mana Um, so, but now, right, to be divided, right, him that divided his flocks, right, um, to lot to assign, right, to number, <coughs> Right, to number is really uh, Masa. Right, um, which is uh, to count. Right? When you're dividing your flocks, that's something else, right? Put number right. Which is what? Right, so 
Um, Makas, right, is like a uh, tax or a tribute or a Levi, levy. But Mas is like to count, right? Um, let's see if I can get there real quick. Um, try to get a preset for count. So it's Kas Kasas, right? Derivative nouns, mas, right? To compute, right? Um, right to count. Kasas. Right? And makas is a tax. Right? Because ma meaning all, kas meaning count. Right? You're taking either tax or tribute. Are right? you counting how many subjugates you have? Right? And you're, and you're, um, you're making a tax. Right? Makas, makas. Right? I mean, a kas. Kasas, right? That's more like a count, because you're counting, but you just you're you're, com you're computing, right? So par is like a recount, like a uh, right? You like a head count, right? Because the par goes into recount. Whether you recount a narrative, you recount something that happened, you're must you must par, right? So ka kasas count makas is like a uh, tax or levy, right? Masapar to recount. Mana meaning a dividing, like you're dividing flocks. Which flocks go here? Which flocks go there? Right? Um. That was it for that. Let's lock in. What do we got right here? Um, uh, that's not it. There's a lot of here. Bear with me. So you have, um, I think that was it. Census. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> so you have a, um, Sure, I uh, all right. So, mana, if we can divide the dust of the of the of the of the uh, the grains of the of the sea, right? It wasn't actually saying in the text if you can count the dust of the sea, then you can count the number of the children of Israel, right? Technically speaking, right? Anyways. 
is uh, Jeremiah 33 and um, Jeremiah 33 and 14, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised to the house of Israel, to the house of Judah. Right? Um, actually, that's it for that. But yeah, there you go, right? You got it. You, you heard it from we at Hero Israel, right? Uh, again, right, we follow the doctrine of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone were not part of that camp, but we give respect where respect is due, right? And, um, Lord willing, right? Um, right? You might have a, uh, Tazadak, uh, concordance, um, um, Comparative concordance coming out, you know, you know, that's of the Lord's will Hebrew Tazadax Hebrew concordance analysis You know Just kidding. I mean, we don't have we don't really have time for that But um, you know cuz prophecy that's what it's about prophecy 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 all right, everything else is that bastard stepchild, all right? You can't really, all right? I mean, you, you know, you, you just kind of let him grow, but, you know, he's a bastard, all right? So you, you just you, you talk to him good, but there's more important things to do, all right? Uh, you know, if you have stepchildren, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, right? But he's going to grow on his own. Because he's not part of you. But, you know, follow the Lord's will, right? Um, so, um, what is it? Jeremiah 33. And, um... You know, that, that's not a shot at Esau. That's, you know, that's just, uh, speaking as a man. That's my excuse. Ha ha ha. Anyways, um, Jeremiah 33 and, uh, Zechariah 8 and 3, Salakia. The power of spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakodash. Again, double honors, heels, and apostles, great millstone. Right? Hoping that I may reach some. Right? Hoping I may um, stir up your mind. Right? That's what. That's part of this ministry. Right? That's part of this lesson. Right? And part one lesson. Right? deals with the afflictions of the just, right, and, um, the work, right, things, the charge of the ministry, right, that's what I'm going to name this lesson, and diverse doctrines, right, of course, um, this is a book of Zechariah, chapter 8, and verse 3, thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and I will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth. And the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain, right? City of truth, not a city of mangling the Lord's breakdowns, right? Not a city of calling on, on sweet Jesus, sweet baby Jesus. Not a city of bringing AK-47s to camp, Zakari, right? Lord is not dealing uh, with those clowns, right? 
um, the mountain of the Lord of Hosts, the holy mountain. Thus saith the Lord of Hosts, there shall yet be old men, old women, dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with a staff in his hand for a very age. Now that's the sight to see right there. You know, are people in their right mind? Right? The staff, their hand, right? And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls, playing in the streets the rough. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. Right? So just because you're in America, Babylon, great, does not mean, right, you're, you're good, right? Because this place is, is, is just is foul, right? Even in the West, I mean the East, right? You got Ishmael, you know, bugging out, whipping his back, out till he bleeds, and all kinds of other you know, bugged out shit, right, all that, all that's gonna be done away with, right, um, you got the, uh, yeah, I mean, Lord's not dealing with that, you know, so there are people over there as well, I mean, you know, if you want to speak, uh, truthfully, right, there's some of those so-called the small hats, right? Some of them are people as well. You can't go, you can't go by the by the flesh, right? You gotta try the spirit by the spirit, right? Um, Zechariah eight and eight, and I will bring them. And they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness, right? Um, thus saith the Lord of hosts let your hands be strong ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts were laid that the temple might be built right for before these days there was no hire for man nor any hire for beast neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the affliction for I said, all men, all men, everyone against his neighbor. <laughs> right? This is what we're doing in these latter days, right? Laying the foundation of the Lord of hosts, right? Um, building the temple, right? Which is a spiritual temple. The foundation is what? Um, uh, the law and the prophets, right? Amasha Yahusha being the cornerstone, right? That's why the scriptures speak about, right? Casting up the highway. Gathering up the stones, right? Are we not a spirit, a uh, spirit of temple of uh, uh, lively stones, right? Like scriptures say, right? Let's get that. Casting up the highway. Which is uh, Isaiah 62 and 10. Just lock y'all in where I click that. And then we'll get, we're going to get the book of Peter. Isaiah 62 and 10. Let's see what that says. Isaiah, this book Isaiah 62 and 10, go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones to rub, lift up the standard for the people, right? Standard is what? The words of Yahweh Shem Shai, right? Casting up the highway is what? Um, 
right? Uh, we're, we're building, right, in this thing, right? Until we come to a perfect unity, right, to the fullness of the measure of Amashi Yahushai, right? Like it says in the book of Ephesians, right, to perfect uh, understanding, right? Um, so it says, a bar, a bar, Basharayim, right? Um, Passover, Passover, upon the gates, right? Panawa, turn, right? Um, um, turn unto them, uh, the way, the rock, right? Of the people, right? Turn the way, turn the way of the people, right? Um, Salawa, Salawa, right? Cast up, cast up. Masala, right? Masala is a highway, right? Salah or Salal means to cast up, right? When you're casting up something, right? Um, um, Masala, that's a highway, right? When you're building a, when you build a highway, you gotta have the supports, you gotta have the beams, right? You gotta have the rebar, which gives it its strength, right? We are the rebar, right? prophets right and then the concrete right the concrete is his word right the sure word of prophecy right the forms you gotta have the forms right you gotta have the, the it's all part of the building we're, we're building in this thing right cast up cast up the highway right um sequal or shequal right which is the same thing like a shekel is something of weight Right, whether it's the weight of the temple or the weight of the currency of trade that is it during that time. Sequal or sequal, right? Way up of the stones, ma abad, right? Ma meaning of, bad meaning stone, right? <clears throat> uh, ha right, right yam, right? Uh, lift, lift them up, right? Lift to them, lift up to them, right? A banner or a standard upon the people, uh, right? Upon the peoples, right? I meaning people, Mayim, Yum makes a plural, right? So that's what we're doing. We're lifting up the banner, right? Which is this truth, right? The 100% truth, right? The whole understanding, the volume of the book, right? Um, does it say um actually that's it for that Isaiah 62 and 11 behold the Lord I proclaim unto the end of the world say ye to the daughter of Zion behold thy salvation cometh behold um his uh what is it his reward is with him his work before him right um um what does it say behold the lord of I proclaim unto the end of the world say ye to the daughter of zion behold thy salvation cometh behold, behold his reward is with him his work is before him right hanaya hawa hasham hasham right um, Al Kwataza, right? Behold, Yahweh has reported, right? Al Kwataza to the end of the earth, right? Ha'arataza, saying, Amarwa, um, Labath Tazayawan, or Tazayan, right? To daughter Zion, Hana, Yeshayaka. Uh, behold, your, your salvation is coming. Behold, uh, his reward, Hanashkarwa, is with him. Athawa, uh, Wapayal, Wapayal, Apaneyawa, right? <clears throat> Payal meaning something that is done, right? It's called a work, but his doings, right? 
behold his doings are before him, right? And how does the Lord proclaim to the end of the world through his servants of prophets? Right, saying unto the daughter of Zion, your salvation is coming. His reward it was is with him, right? Because in that day, right, we're striving for what? The reward of the kingdom. That everlasting crown, right? The crown of life, right? And his work is before him, right? So our doings, right, are going to be before us in that day, right? Like scriptures say, right, those who, those who die in his truth, right, the works will follow them, right? And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, that shall be called, sought out, a city not forsaken, right? Wakorah Laham, I am Hakwadash, they will call to them. The people are uh, uh, holy. Um, Ga'aliah, right? The redeemed, right? Ga'al goes into either a kinsman or a redeemer. A kinsman is your redeemer, right? Um, the redeemer, the, re uh, the redeemed of Yahweh, right? Um, And, and to thee, Walaka, Walak, Walaka, right? And to thee, they will call Yakora, right? Um, sought out, right? The Rosh, right? A city that will not be forsaken, right? Left off, right? That's what Izab means, to leave off, right? Or forsaken, right? Like Amashu Yahushai said on the cross, right? He said, Alaya, Alaya, uh, Lama, Izabathanaya, right? My God, my God, um, uh, to what, uh, has thou forsaken me, right? Alaya, Alaya, Lama, Izabathanaya, right? Right, so, right, there you go. Pastor Har said, said it himself, right? He, he, a lot of people don't know that Jesus Christ called, called upon Allah. Allah. Right? Which is really, right, when you say, my God, that's Allah. As in, Allah. Allah. Right? Who is Allah but Yahweh? Right? He that exists. The everlasting. Right? Um. Ha'ala ma'amath. The God of truth. Right? Um. Allah Shaddaiya. God Almighty. Right? Um. Allah Gadal. Right? The great God. Right? And so on and so forth, right? Um, so that means to leave off, right? Um, it says, and it will be called to them, people holy, right, redeem of Yahweh. And uh, to thee, they will call, sought out, a city not forsaken, right? What's that? Isaiah 62. Um, Isaiah 62. But Allah really means, right, either means power, right? You can call, right, an idol Allah, right? That just means, right, a power, right? When you use more specific, right, when you say Allah just means God, Right, God can mean anything, an idol can be your God, right? But when you're more specific, right, like all um, Allah Shaddai, right, that, that's the Almighty God, right, the only God, right? You have to make a distinction, right? Um, so 
So yeah, that's what that means, right? And even David said, right, uh, mighty. In the Psalms, you read about him calling upon the almighty God, right, of Israel, right? Allah, Allah, Yashra'Allah, right? So it means mighty as well, right? I forgot what precept it was, but uh, the Moabites, their mighty men were called Aya, Ayal, Ayal, right? Which is a derivative of Allah, right? That just means might, just like Chayel. That just means might, or, uh, right? So that's just a general term. Like when you say in English, God, right? Gad in the Hebrew just means fortune or fortunate, right? Or troop, right? Or Gadad, it means like a, uh, uh, a, uh, a caravan, right? A group of men. Right, so you gotta know your, your your words, your origin of words, right? That's a, one of the gods of the uh, uh, Babylonians, Gad, which is a god of fortune, right? God of the Chaldeans, right? Which were Shemites, which were in the Mesopotamia, which was Babylonia, right? You had uh, the land. Of Aram, right? These were all prognosticators, idol worshippers, right? Abraham was called out of that land, right? Why? Because, right? They were idol worshippers, right? Filthy, right? And this is why, right? When um, Jacob, right, uh, made a made a uh, made a covenant with Laban, right, he didn't swear upon the God of Israel, right, or the God of his fathers, right, he swore upon the fear of his father Abraham and Isaac, right, because, right, Laban was a, was an idol worshiper, right, he was seeking after his idols even after he departed from it. Rebecca, um, Salaki and I, Rebecca, um, Rachel, right, she had a head took one of the father's idols and she 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 uh she sat upon it right you look at the history of these idols there's it's just this history of filth right so you know right we're not dealing with that right um anyways zechariah what is it? zechariah in three right so the east country is tough right you know, Ishmael, right? Because not all Ishmael is Ishmael. Just like all Israel is not Israel, right? You got Elamites and all these other Shemites mingled in there. Midianites, right? You know, you, you know Ishmael because he's filthy rich, right? Which is why he was blessed with great, with great uh, substance. And he was, he was to be around his brethren, right? You'll know Ishmael when you see Ishmael and you see a lot of them and they're they're with their people, which were in the, in the east, right? Dubai, all that, right? The, the, I'm talking about the big, the big dogs, right? That's Ishmael, right? All the other ones are peons. They're just, they're mingled within, right? They're all um, lesser lu uh, luminaries. That's all they are, right? Just like, uh, anyways, that's it for that. But really, um, right? Um, Zechariah, what was I? Eight and, um, What is it, Zechariah 8? Zechariah 8 and 11. But now, 
I will not be unto thee, unto the residue of this people, as in the former days, saith the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give her their due, and will cause the remnant of his people to possess all these things. Right? And this shall come to pass, that as ye were a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah and the house of Israel, so will I save you. You shall be a blessing, fear not, but let your hands be strong. Right, so when we see Judah, right, it's talking about the uh, southern kingdom, right? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, right? We hear about Israel, right? That's ten lost tribes, right? Which is, dare I name them? Let me try. Um, um, what is it? Uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Simeon, uh, Reuben, Issachar, right, um, um, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Asher, Naphtali, right, um, what else have we got? I did Ephraim, Manasseh, um, Is it Asher? No, I'm not looking at the chart. Um, Gad, right? And you have uh, what did I forget? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, right? Reuben, Iscar, um. Gad, Asher, Naphtali, that's five. Um, um, Ephraim, Manasseh, right? Um, so like, yeah, man, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, right, uh, Reuben, Issachar, right, Reuben, Issachar, Gad, um, Asher, Natali, right, you got, um, Ephraim, Manasseh, so I got three left, what I miss, um, And um, Zebulon, that's eight. Um, um, I think I did count all of them. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, right? Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh. Gad, Reuben, Natali, Asher, Issachar. Yeah, that was it. I was trying to count. Um, 10 after I counted 14. Alright. So you have Salakia. Right? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon. That's four. Right? Um, Reuben. Right? Issachar, right, that's six, um, right, Gad, Asher, um, Naphtali, right, that's nine, right, Ephraim, Manasseh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Right, Reuben, Iscar, right, Gad, Asher, uh, Naphtali, Ephraim, Manasseh, I missed one. Oh, 
Oh, Zebulon. That's what I missed. Right, so it's Zebulon. That's the one I missed. So, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, uh, Reuben, Iskar, um, Gad, Asher, Zebulon, right, Ephraim, Manasseh, Naphtali. All right, so that was it. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, right, you got um, Reuben, Iskar, Naphtali, Asher, uh, Gad, um, Ephraim, Manasseh, right? Try it one more time. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, right? Um, Reuben, Issachar, right? Zebulon, Naphtali, Asher, Gad, Ephraim, Manasseh. Bashim, Masha, Gelshai, right? Practice makes perfect, right? That's what that's what this thing is about, right? Remembrance, right? Not only with the uh, Right, the prophecies, but you know, the whole thing, right? That's what this thing is about, right? Let's get that one more time, right? Judah, Benjamin, right? Levi, Simeon, right? You have Naphtali, Zebulon, right? Gad, um, Asher, right? Reuben, Issachar, Ephraim, Manasseh, right? There you go, right? Practice makes perfect, right? Um, and like Lil Wayne said, right? Uh, repetition is the father of remembrance. Something to that sort, right? But anyways, um, it was at Zechariah chapter 8. And, um, Eight and three. That's it for that. Um, Isaiah chapter two and verse two. Right, I brought this out earlier. Right, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. And the top of the mountains shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh Shem El Shai, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways. We will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge amongst the nation, nations, and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall, shall not rise up sword against nation, neither shall they um, learn war anymore. Right? O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Right? So in this time, it's only about the remnant, right? Prophecy, right, and exalting uh, the Lord, right, through uh, preaching, which is foolishness unto men, right? So with that, uh, this brother Yatazadak, here of Israel, right, as always, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, double honors to those and apostles of Great Millstone. Lord willing, you were edified, and uh, until the next time. Uh, Kwame Ashwala, Bad Ball, Shalom. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Slacky. I'm just joking. Shalom.